Hey guys, it's your favorite YouTuber, D to the B. Well, maybe not your favorite, but decent favorite. So, I'm going to be reviewing SMBB Productions' um, Making a Big Movie that came out back in March. Oh wait, that's this month. I, can't, I think it came out like a week ago. So, I'm going to basically explain how I felt about the movie and probably get into spoiler details as well. Or maybe I'll make two separate reviews of one with spoilers, one with not spoilers, because I don't want to ruin it to people that haven't seen the movie. So, <clears throat> not forget it. Spoilers, by the way. So the movie basically takes place after the first season of Making It Big. If you guys don't know what Making It Big is, I would suggest watching the series on SMBB Productions channel or watch season watch my um reaction video of all of season 1. I would suggest to watch either of those so you get caught up with the series before you watch the movie. So basically back back then um our our main character I think his name's um Charles Smith, I think that's his name or SMBB Productions character. So he used to be a music video guy who got offered a deal to be a music producer. And we basically see how they become um, the best pals that they do with, Char with him and Charles Smith. If I remember, not Charles Smith. Charles Watson? Dang, I keep forgetting the names of these characters. Um, so, then we get to find out, um, how the main character, uh, um, SMBB Productions character, I'm sorry, pal, I'm doing my best here. We get to find out his best pal used to have this really rich dad guy, <clears throat> which sounds like a total jerk. Like... I think that was also voiced by SMBB Productions. It sounded like him. But we don't care about that. We're talking about the darn movie. Focus, Steve the Bee. So the movie, um, as I was saying, um, the friend of SMBB um, Productions' character left the terrible father. And then later, back then, he gets the inheritance because the father died. He crumples that up and like here's a part I kind of have a problem with. I get maybe it's just thinking about all that money wasted in the story but why crumble it? You could have just um you could have just like you know what forget this money and then they just spent it on something really expensive, so it's all gone. So then they can continue being poor or help their careers a little. But who knows, maybe I'm just biased for money. Because I love money. Anyway, continuing. Later in the movie, um, the main character explains... So, basically, SMBB Productions writing basically retcons the whole thing of them being good comedians. He says, when we said we were good comedians, we were just joking. I'm like, okay. Okay, that explains a lot. Um, then later, we get to see the this corporate a guy, which I forgot to mention in the first place, who is a big money star... Um, fanatic. I don't know, if you wanted someone popular to buy it, why didn't you sell it to Disney? Please don't do that! I'm actually just kidding, don't sell it to Disney. They're just gonna kill your product. Anyway, continuing. So later in the future, that produ the music producer guy, which I keep forgetting the name to... <sighs> I'm going to leave a link in the description for this movie. Basically, tell, uh, basically, um, unites with the 
British producer, I think it was. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm terrible at this kind of stuff. I think that was him, but I think some of the actors play other characters as well in this movie. Like SMBB Productions, I feel like he played um, his character's da uh, friend's dad in this movie. But anyway, continuing. I'm sorry, SMBB Productions, if you see this video. I'm so bad at this. I'm going off topic here. So then, basically, um, at the end, they have a big old fight off. I'm like, of course there is rap music, but you know, you guys know how I feel about rap. But SMBB Productions, I have nothing against you because you like rap. I know a few people that. Sorry, I know a few people that actually like rap. But continuing. On the story, they're about to have their final epic battle with some kind of rockish music, which I was like, "Ah, oh, yeah, man." <laughs> and basically, because they filmed the whole thing on audio, um, yeah, he um he kills himself. Okay, I get why he did it, but I felt like it was a bit of a waste. Who knows? Maybe it's just because that, um, I watch too much action movies. Um, I felt like the character could have had much more greater chance. Maybe we could have found out, um, how he could have gotten the money. What made him so popular. What grudge. Okay, maybe somewhere in the movie, oh, it is kind of mentioned how he has a grudge with them. We're obviously going to probably find out more in Season 2. Which, SMBB Productions, I may, suggest, I may suggest some things for Season 2. But, you don't have to follow these. Not all my storytelling is great, but these are just suggestions. Number, um, maybe number one. Have a rival comedian or something. Like, you know how you mentioned in Season 1 that... Um, they retired or something, and I know you reckoned the them being good comedians, which was actually kind of a funny joke. Um, maybe have like um this comedian for like the big baddie of season two, like he's always been ruining the career. I I would even be willing. To meet you somewhere, if we had time, meet you somewhere where I can be the your rival comedian. I could be the future version. But who knows, you don't have to follow this. This is completely my ideas. And sometimes my ideas are ridiculous. And some are good. But, um... Yeah, that's one thing I have to mention that you should do. Um... Number two, um, um, huh, I uh, know, I think that's it for right now. If I have some other ideas for season two, I'll make sure to make a whole separate video, but now you're probably wondering, what did I think of this film? I thought it was pretty good, had some flaws in certain areas, but hey, Every film's gonna have some certain flaws. My League of Awesomeness movie is a great example. And the funny thing is, there's gonna be a sequel after season four. But, no matter if the film was perfect or not, I'd still watch it. I would still recommend a series. I'll leave a link both to my reaction video to season one and a link to the movie. So yeah. This is D to the B, out. Have a nice day, SMBB Productions. You're great, man.